Well, one of the things you'll find when you visit the Munson Trail wineries is you'll have an opportunity uh, many times to meet the winemakers themselves. And pretty much all Texas winemakers are unique in their own character. My name is Bob White. I'm the owner and winemaker of Texoma Winery, who is part of the Munson Wine Trail. And our wine trail is very special in that it was named after a legendary viticulturist from Denison, Texas by the name of T.V. Munson. And T.V. Munson is credited in the 1880s for saving the French wine industry. Well, our Munson Wine Trail runs north from the city of Allen, north to the Red River, and it's bounded by Gainesville on the west and Paris, Texas on the east. And in that, that area, there are actually 12 commercial wineries and vineyards. And we kind of have the wine trail divided into two forks, a south fork and a north fork, but it can actually be broken down into three day trips. Now, if you're wanting to do that, I would really encourage people to grab a Texas Wine Passport, which is a great program provided by the Texas Department of Agriculture. And with that passport, you could go out and visit local Texas wineries and have those passports stamped and validated. Once you fill up a passport with four wineries, all you have to do is go online, redeem that passport, they'll send you a new passport and a gift. One thing we're really proud of on the Munson Wine Trail is a number of our wineries make their wines all with Texas grapes. Some of those coming from their wineries, but also coming from other areas of the state. A number of wineries make a uh, great white wine with Blanc du Bois, which could come from South Texas, or they could uh, use the more traditional Merlot or Chenin Blanc or uh, Ruby Cabernet from the Texas High Plains area. With Triple R Ranch Winery, even though they're only open by appointment, that's because they're actually a full wildlife game reserve, which is something that's also very interesting where you have a game reserve and a, a full commercial winery operation. And one thing that is so special and unique is from Homestead Winery in Denison, they make a cream sherry, which is double gold medal cream sherry and has uh, been made by a also famous Texas winemaker, Dr. Roy Mitchell. <laughs> Well, you might be interested in trying some of these high-quality, award-winning Texas wines at some of our events, whether it's a fall festival, a vineyard picnic, or some uh, weekend music we might be having. But when you travel the uh, Munson Wine Trail, there are a number of bed and breakfasts that are clustered also, though, by some of those metropolitan areas, so you're going to look at, at, at having where you want to have as your uh, place to start from, so like a McKinney or a Denison or a Paris in those, those larger areas and use that as your base of operation and then travel out from there. Don't uh, hesitate to ask the winemakers how they got into the wine business and what it all means to them because that helps you gain a better Texas wine experience.